What is up, video clickers? I'm here today to show y'all my valley in Disney's Dreamlight Valley. I've played about 200 hours now, and let's make one thing clear, not every part of my valley looks as good as outside of Eric's castle. So, on to the first biome. Here we are in the peaceful meadow, and as you can see, mine is mostly empty. I put Donald's houseboat in the pond in the meadow, then put Goofy, Mickey, and Minnie all on the west side. Over by Mickey and Minnie's houses is the meadow fountain right next to Goofy's stall. There's also a reading nook, the pastry shop, a couple seating areas, and of course the crafting and storage station. You can see more about those in my other videos. If we zoom out here, y'all will actually see how all of that only takes up a fraction of this giant meadow. I'm trying to leave room for growth since I change up my valley pretty much daily. The plaza is truly the heart of the valley. Coming in on the side entrance, I place my coffee bar. The Wonderland cookies are my favorite recipe so far. I put them here on the coffee table. I just cannot wait for more Alice in Wonderland themed items. Up ahead is the barbecue pit, complete with a chessboard, and of course, lots and lots of tasty snacks. Since my food storage is up here by the restaurant, I actually do quite a bit of cooking here at this campfire grill. And y'all know by now how much I love my restaurant seating area. And of course, on the other side here is Scrooge's shop. Down along the main entrance is the community pool, complete with a poolside bar, zen garden, and of course, random forageable trees spread throughout. I'm working on building a large orchard next. Then, hidden away back here in this cranny over here is my water collection center. It isn't accessible to any other parts of the valley, so it's really inconvenient to mine this rock that's back here. Anyway, on to the next biome. Welcome to the Dazzle Beach. Over on this end, we have a mini shopping area. It could use some love, that's for sure. I have Goofy's Beach Stall, Kristoff's Shop, and then you can see back here, I also have Goofy's Glade Stall as close to the ramp as possible to make shopping a breeze. Next to that, we have the Sushi Spot. A spicy tuna rolls, anyone? I love hanging out back here. It's pretty easy to make shops on the beach. Here we have Ariel's house, which is just as anatomically correct as it was on the old VHS. Across the bridge is the carnival area, and down here I put another reading nook. This little nook looks so cute at nighttime with the little lights in the water. Down the dock and across the water, there's Mally's house. I'm leaving that large open space for when we inevitably get Captain Hook in an update. Over this way is Moana's house and the beach barbecue area. Moana's house is my favorite. Stay tuned for an upcoming video where I rank each villager's house in the valley. Here's another shrine to our almighty ruler. Mm -hmm. And of course back here is the Valley Beach Flower Shop. Time for the next biome. Up here in the frosted heights, I actually don't have much. Huge shout out to my snow family though, love y'all. Back here we have the hot springs area and it's complete with a sitting area as well. But over here we just have a whole lot of nothing. On the other side, the side where you need the fountain to reach it, over here is where I added the ice cream parlor. Nothing suspicious here at all. YouTube, take us to the next biome. can see in the Forest of Valor, there's literally nothing here. And across the bridge, there is literally absolutely nothing here as well, other than Anna and Elsa's houses. It's okay not to have a complete valley, or even a complete biome. Your valley can still look amazing and be nowhere near finished. The game isn't even finished yet, so how could your valley be anywhere close? This is my large farming area. 
I put Wally's farm, some random plants, and some control plants near my tool shed. I plan to put a whole farmer's market back here as more items release, or as I craft more. And here is my house with a bookshop right outside because I love to read. What's the last book that you read? Do you ever read the menu fully at the restaurant? I try to, but I still end up ordering the same thing every single time. Let me just check to make sure there isn't anything hiding in the forest. Back here through this enchanted forest is Merlin's house, complete with the potion research lab. I plan to add more to this area, but I think it's really cute. And well, that's all for now. Did you really think we were going to go through every biome? You'll have to wait for Valley Tour Part 2 for all that. Bye, y'all.